Here are Australia's lowest spread Forex brokers in 2024. I'm Noam. And I'm Justin. We've been comparing Forex brokers here in Australia for over a decade now. And we're here to inform you of some of the latest developments in CFD and Forex trading. In this video, we're going to uncover the lowest spread Forex broker in Australia in 2024. Before we jump into that, at the end of this video, we're going to uncover a brand new Forex broker that we found is one of the absolute cheapest in the market. Stay tuned for the end of the video where we uncover who exactly that Forex broker is. Alright guys, let's get into it. Justin, we've been compiling this list of lowest spread Forex brokers in Australia for many years now. I think this is like our sixth or seventh iteration. Um, do you want to maybe discuss with the guys about who featured at number one on that list? Before I do that, I just think it's important we understand how we came to determine the lowest spread. So we do it two ways. First of all, we get the published spreads of every Forex broker. So brokers do publish our own every spreads. We've got a spreadsheet, we keep it up to date. And, and, we, and we judge based on that. Then we do our own testing. So Ross Collins actually, we've opened the accounts with all the major Forex so brokers. Ross is, a, Ross is an analyst that works for us that has a <coughs> background in trading um, and also background in IT. In IT. He, so he's done, you can go into it, but yeah, he's sure. basically done all the analysis uh, firsthand. Exactly, so he runs bots uh, over a 30 hour period and then looks at using MT4 and then gets the spreads based on that. So we've run this a few times, the same data comes out every time and that determined our best Forex broker. Okay, so at number one I can see on our list is 8cap. Why do we choose 8cap at number one? So 8cap has a, the best range of markets. So you can trade not just Forex, you can trade shares, commodities, and they're really good at crypto. So we're not just looking at Forex, <clears throat> we're looking at all the tradable instruments and if we look at it that way they've got the lowest spreads on Aurora account and for those that aren't aware Aurora account is when you have a commission and a spread so it's combined and by doing that the spreads can be as tight as possible the broker doesn't need to mark up the spreads and the commissions is set so that's set based on the amount that you actually trade this is the cheapest account we've actually got in our methodology a section where we did compare standard accounts versus Roar accounts. So Roar account is the cheaper option and A kept a winner when it comes to that. Okay, interesting. Um, the second broker on our list was IC Markets. Why did we put IC Markets at number two? Okay, let's flip it around. I talked about Roar accounts, A cap. What about the standard accounts? Standard accounts are very popular with beginner traders. A standard account is just a spread and there's no commission. So the spreads are higher, but on the plus side without commission is easier to calculate um, a lot of people like to, <clears throat> let's say, trade on their mobile. You know, what you see is what you get. The standard account's a clear winner when it comes to that. So, IC Markets has the lowest standard accounts. It's done that for several years, and we've judged based on that. So, if you're going for this account type, IC Markets a clear winner. Great range of markets, good trading platforms. All right, Justin. Number three on our list was um, a broker that not many people would have heard of, um, but it's a broker that we actually know quite well. Um, it's called Fusion Markets. Why don't you tell the guys about why Fusion came in at number three? So I talked about Aurora account and how it's a spread and a commission. And Fusion Markets is able to offer a lower commission rate for Australian traders than the major brokers. So that matters. We've actually calculated the total impact on brokerage and the commission for Aurora account is more, is more important than the spread. So the fact, that, you know, the fact that these commission rates are lower is why Fusion wins and they still offer a lot of the other features such as the trading platforms, Australian based customer service. They tick a lot of boxes. They're smaller, agile, lower commissions, lower trading fees. All right, Justin, so I'm just gonna summarize um, the three brokers that we've mentioned. Um, so coming in at number three as, I guess, the, the third best lowest spread Forex broker in Australia in 2024 was Fusion Markets. And the reason why we picked Fusion at number three was because of their commission. They have really, really cheap commissions. Smaller broker, but that means a tight operation and able to offer you lower trading costs. Right. 
Number two was IC Markets, and we felt that they were the lowest spread broker for beginner traders on their standard account. Yes. So if standard you're a beginner, account. so if you're a beginner, you're more likely to choose the standard account, as you mentioned before. Um, and we felt that their commissions were really, really cheap in that in that yeah. kind of sub. Well, no commissions. They offer the cheapest spreads. Split, so so the spreads were really, really cheap in in that subcategory. And just remember, we not only looked at their published spreads, we've done testing as well. So. That, you know, often we find we catch trade uh, brokers out. Not in this case, very solid global broker. Okay, and and the overall uh, lower spread for X broker in Australia in 2024 were 8CAP, and that was specifically for their raw account. And we like them because of their overall package offering, particularly with the cryptos that they offer mm. and the vast range of CFDs that they promote as well. So we've, yeah, we've looked beyond just Forex and those spreads. We've also looked at spreads because most Forex traders will trade other markets. So we looked at this holistically for Australian traders and that's when they kept one. So that was clearly a sweet spot. They've gone for the lowest spreads. They've achieved that. And if you want to trade, let's say crypto, they've got the greatest range. Guys, we mentioned earlier in the video that we were going to divulge the cheapest Forex broker that we've come across that's brand new in 2024. Um, that company is called DNA Markets. You can catch them at their website at dnamarkets.com. They are very new. Um, they are regulated by ASIC in Australia um, and their commission is $4.50 per round term. Now that is if not the cheapest, one of the cheapest that we've come across. We've been really impressed with their offering, uh, particularly the range of CFDs that they promote, um, and I think they're quite big on crypto as well. But they've got all the all the latest and the best trading platforms in MT4, MT5, and TradingView that you and I really like as well. So the key thing is this is a new broker. It is regulated, um, and you know new brokers have got to make a point of difference. So. Clearly, the fact that they offer the lowest commission or the equal lowest commission of any broker, and then you look at their low spreads, and obviously they're going for the low cost segment, and, and I can't see a pro reason why you wouldn't go for it. At the end of the day, they are ASIC regulated, so uh, you do have protections. There are certain standards that are met. Um, so yeah, if, if cost is your number one concern, I'd be going for them. Guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to give this video a like. And if you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like Justin and I to create for you to assist you on your trading journey, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, we spoke about spreads and lower spreads in this video, but what about commissions? If you're interested in brokers that um, have some of the lowest commissions in the market, have a look at this video up here where we go over all of them.